Okay, so for helping with the cleaning enema, I would first uh, gather all of my necessary supplies, and then I would perform hand hygiene and enter the room, and I would introduce myself to the patient and any family that may be there. Um, I'll explain what we're doing, and I'll go ahead and identify the patient using two identifiers. Then I will um, check the doctor's orders for the type and kind of enema that was to be used, and then I would double check that the enema that I have is correct. Um, I'll then provide patient hygiene and um, get the bed to a comfortable working height and I'll go ahead and help the patient onto their left side lighting um, into the left side line um, arrangement. Um, I, if we were using a uh, packaged enema I would make sure that uh, I applied um, the water soluble lubricant to the tip and then um, I would expose the patient's buttocks, um, but try to make sure that that's all that is exposed. And then I will um, separate the patient's buttocks and um, make sure that any air has been expelled out of the enema. And then I will insert it into the patient's anus, depending on their age. And I will slowly um, roll the enema bottle so that all the contents are expelled into the patient's body. And I will explain to, explain to the patient that any cramping or uh, discomfort is common. Um, if I were using a um, enema that was from paying from a bag, I would uh, make sure that I fill the bag with warm water um, and test it the temperature on my wrist. And then I will um, apply soap if needed to the bag. Um, I will make sure that I get all of the air out of the tip of the tubing before applying, and if need, I can apply um, a lubricant to the tip of uh, that as well. Um, and then like before, I would insert it into the patient's anus and um, slowly um, release the clamps on the cord so that it can start to release in. Um, I will keep the bag to begin with at the patient's hips, and as time goes, I'll slowly raise the bag. And again, I'll explain to the patient that um, a little cramping and discomfort is normal. Um, when completed for both enemas, when all the solution has been expelled, I'll go ahead and wrap uh, toilet paper around uh, the patient's anus and to help um, get the uh, tip out of the enema. Um, I will then ask the patient to keep everything in, um, to keep the contents as long as they can, and give them a call light, um, and let them know that um, it, you know, typically about two to five minutes is how things work. Um, I'll make sure that I have a bedpan or anything that the patient may need in order to get to the bathroom ready. Um, once the call light has been called, I'll go ahead and help the patient either with the bedpan or get to the bathroom and what they may need, and if they need any cleaning up afterwards. I will be sure to um, you be using gloves during the process, um, especially while getting rid of the contents, and I will be sure to note the contents. After performing hand hygiene and removing my gloves and cleaning all the appropriate um, tools, I will make sure that the patient is comfortable and I will give them anything that they may need and make sure everything that they need is in reach. I'll also make sure to give them their call light and tell them, you know, not to hesitate if they need anything. I will um, record everything that had happened as well as the patient's response to the enema and the type of enema that was used as well as um, the state of the contents. And that'll be it.